Welcome to Fresh Waters, spiritual reflections helping you to grow in faith. Today's session is about work with your gifts. The key concept is, we all are uniquely gifted to serve God. The scripture today is from Romans chapter 12 verses 3 to 8. For by the grace given me, I say to every one of you, do not think of yourself more highly than you ought, but rather think of yourself with sober judgment, in accordance with the measure of faith God has given you. Just as each of us has one body with many members, and these members do not all have the same function, so in Christ we who are many form one body, and each member belongs to all the others. We have different gifts according to the grace given us. If a man's gift is prophesying, let him use it in proportion to his faith. If it is serving, let him serve. If it is teaching, let him teach. If it is encouraging, let him encourage. If it is contributing to the needs of others, let him give generously. If it is leadership, let him govern diligently. If it is showing mercy, let him do it cheerfully. God has uniquely gifted every one of us to serve him. We have a responsibility to serve God. He has given grace to every believer and gifted them for his service. That was the point that Paul was trying to make with the Roman believers. We are all uniquely gifted by God. There are two tensions most people have in the area of giftedness. They affect how we see ourselves. The first tension is that we are gifted. God has given us a gift or gifts to serve him. The danger of living too much on the side of our giftedness may be pride. A superiority complex can develop. You may think that you are higher than others on God's spiritual order, that is, if he does have a spiritual order. A way to balance this extreme is to realize that your gifts are a result of his grace. The other tension is that we are not gifted. Maybe God has chosen not to gift us in certain areas of life. The danger here is feeling inferior and jealous of others who possess certain gifts. Some even have practiced false humility in order to receive the praise of men for their service. The way to balance the, this tension is to realize that you are a member of the body of Christ. Realize and accept that you are gifted to function differently. It is when we have a good balance between these two tensions that we begin to have a healthy view of ourselves. A healthy self-esteem sees that we are all members of the same body. It also sees that we are all gifted and will function differently. It is foolish to think that we cannot teach or give or show mercy because we're not gifted in those areas. Rather, we are all to serve God in various ways recognizing that some are more gifted in certain areas than others. You do not know where your gifts are until you try to serve God. The Lord will confirm your gifts over time. My prayer is that you will serve the Lord, discovering and exercising the gifts that He has uniquely given you. Just think about it. Have you ignored the way that God has uniquely gifted you? Are you balanced in your view of yourself? Are there areas of service that you have avoided because you felt that you were not gifted in those areas? What must you change in your life in order for you to have a healthy service to God? What will you do about it this week? May God bless you in your spiritual journey.